Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to DIY Art Blast. So today I'm gonna make uh, another painting. It's a winter dreamo cardinal painting. So um, let's start. So these are the material I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna use a different process this time. So I'm using eight by 10 size of canvas. You can also paint on uh, paper if you like. These are the paint I'm gonna use. This is acrylic paint. This is red color. So red purple you can also take a screenshot if you want to know like what is the name and this is just a black paint this is green light green brown blue this is light blue yeah okay and this one is yellow color all right so if you are beginners i mean you don't have to use the same color i'm using i mean i always um try to use a different color if possible but you can use any color any shade you like for this painting because um again this is your painting you can change it up if you like a little bit maybe a whole thing if you like but uh here how i paint so these are the brushes again i'm gonna use so this one is the round brush and this is number five size i'm gonna also use this brush if you cannot find this type of brush i mean you can also use a small tiny brush like this this is number zero size and this one is number four it says and i'm also gonna use a brush like this so i'm gonna use a natural bristles type of a brush here you can uh, find this at any art store i mean um, you know craft stores but if you don't have anything like this you can just use your regular brush maybe a flat brush like this one maybe but do not use any water for this part i'll show you what part i'm talking about okay and i forgot to show you that i also am gonna use this brush here it's a flat brush well it's not a flat, br uh, flat brush but this one is it says one inch size so i'm gonna use this if you don't have again all these brushes you can use different size of brushes uh, it's not really gonna make any difference uh, to be honest for the background uh, i'm gonna use this brush for the background so again if you don't have this type of brush you can just use a flat brush all right so let's start painting so first i'm gonna work on the background let me wet my bristles here first again you can also paint on a watercolor paper using watercolor but try not to use too much water okay so my background have a lot of colors most of all the colors i see in here so let's start with the light blue first so first i'm gonna apply blue so i'm gonna take some white and tiny little blue so i like always doing this type of a background because it's so much quicker and also you get different background every time you paint this way <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna add like brush strokes like this just going back and forth left and right like that just very randomly and as you can see i'm like not going everywhere i'm just gonna take more white and just a little bit more blue now as you're doing this you can also paint the edges if you like if you are painting on a canvas now I'm gonna do the same thing with the different color this time I'm gonna use a purple color I like to also use a little bit of water so I'm just gonna take a little water here so same thing again I'm gonna take a little purple and a little bit of white like this and uh, yeah same thing i'm just gonna go back and forth left and right and just applying and covering all the white area on my painting now uh, as i'm painting i also like to you know turn my canvas because it's just easier for me to paint the top than painting the bottom okay roll your sleeves if you want to paint too. okay so there you go something like this now i'm gonna cover all of that white area i have here 
I'm not worried about blending all the colors right now. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, just go to the, go all the way on the edges. You can also just start from the edges and bring your paint in. This way will be easier to do the edges without blending too much. Okay, I'm gonna turn my canvas again. I like to also use a little bit of water, not too much here. Okay. Okay. I'm holding my canvas, but it's, come on. Okay, I'm done. And uh, yeah, you're gonna paint all over yourself for this type of bed background, trust me. Okay, so I almost cover almost the white area. Now I'm gonna start blending these colors. Let me show you how I do that. So from now, I'm not gonna take like uh, any blue or purple. I'm just gonna use white paint. So I'm basically gonna take my whole white and adding lines like this. That's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna blend everything together. Now you might wanna hold your canvas because obviously it's not gonna be that easy. So I'm just gonna go left and right, starting from bottom and going up this is very simple background you can do this everybody can do this okay now this is your painting again you can make it darker lighter it's up to you however you like so if you feel like this is too dark go ahead and add more white because that's what i'm gonna do okay and if you feel like it's too light you can always add more blue and purple or you know what any color you like this is a very fun painting. Okay, I'm gonna take more white and add more white. Okay, and then I'm gonna again go ahead and blend it all together. Now I feel like I also want to add uh, one more color here, actually two more color here. So I'm going to start with the yellow first. I'm not cleaning my brush here. If you feel like you have too much purple or maybe blue, clean your brush. If you have more white, it's okay. You don't have to clean. I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow and like adding this type of line just very randomly, not too many. And I'm going to take some white paint now. I'm going to go over that yellow. And I'm going to blend all together. Again, same thing, left and right. Okay, you can also do the edges if you like. Okay. This might look kind of a little muddy, but that's fine. That's the whole point of this background. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of brown here. And I'm just going to also add some brown lines like this. Okay, I'm just going to take more white now. I'm going to clean my brush first because I feel like I have a lot of brown on my brush. The, big, the background is kind of a little blurry, so you cannot see clearly. So that's the whole point of uh, me doing this way. Okay, so I'm just going to take some more white. I'm going to use a whole lot of white, white for this painting. Okay, I'm just going to add more white here on the brown. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend again. Okay, something like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hold my on my on my whole canvas. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying even here. So just keep blending. If you feel like it's too dark, you can add more white, blue, or any color you like. Again, I'm just gonna take more white here. Do you see how it looks kind of a little muddy right now? That's what I'm going for.
I might want to apply a little bit of blue, not too much maybe. Okay. And I'm just going to blend again. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Now, I'm just going to work on the details on the background. Okay, so I'm just going to clean my brush here. Now, one thing you will need, or if you don't have that, I'll show you what to do if you don't. So, I'm talking about that little sponges. I'll show you in a second here. I'm talking about this type of sponges. As you can see, I use a lot of these uh, sponges. So, um, if you have something like this, you can use that. If you don't, you can just use your brush and just create a little circle. I'll show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to show you how I apply. I'm just going to take just maybe a little bit of water, like not too much. I'm not going to use a lot of water here. Make sure you don't have too much. It's barely wet. Okay. All right. Now, I'm just going to start with the white color here first. So I'm going to cover my whole sponge. Okay, I need more white. So again, I'm just going to take a little white and I'm going to cover my whole sponge. And I'm also going to take a little bit of blue here. Blue, also a little bit of purple on the other side maybe. And I'm just going to damp like dab it on the plate like that and i'm just gonna apply it right here or just very randomly and what i like to do is after i press it a little bit i like to twist a little bit like that okay same thing i'm just gonna do it all over my canvas okay i put three here maybe a two here there is no right, no wrong here, okay? Just go with the with this process. I mean, trust the process. <laughs> okay, don't forget the edges. I might need more white. Okay, I'm just going to use white this time. I'm not using the blue or purple here. Don't forget the edges. Okay. All right. Now, make sure you also clean your sponges because I, after I use this like two or three times, you obviously have to throw that away. So let me clean that first. You might need more new water there. Okay, let me go get new water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I bring some new water here. All right, so now before this dry, I'm going to use my this brush here. Make sure you don't take any water for this part. And uh, if you are you... Okay, let me show you both way. So if you don't have this type of brush, you can also use this type of brush. Just a regular. Okay, so let me show you with this one first. So basically, I'm just going to go around... That circle that I draw here very lightly I'm not using any water keep that circular motion going on that on that area so something like that do the same thing all over your I, I mean on whole all the circles you have here okay and I'm also gonna add some smaller dots so I'm also gonna do the same thing with some different color this time and I'm gonna use my this small brush again this is number five okay I'm gonna start with some green and I'm just gonna add a little circle Add a little bit of a circle there, just very randomly again. Okay, 
okay and then I'm gonna use my this brush and just go around that circle I mean on that area and just kind of put it around I mean uh, just go around that circle then like that and try to do this when this is all dry I'm sorry uh, when it's still wet because um, once it's dry it's gonna pull that paint away from that like you can see here so make sure you do this as quick as possible okay now same thing I'm gonna do with the yellow okay same thing okay I'm just gonna add a little dot first Again, you can use that brush or if you are using this type of brush, just basically, basically just go over that area and just use a dry brush. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing with the white. Let me clean my brush. Okay. So something like this, you can just add white anywhere you like. I'm also adding some of them on the big circle that I added earlier. Okay, I don't want to overdo this, but I'm going to clean my big brush. Make sure you don't have any water there. Okay, I'm going to clean and dry. And then basically I'm just going to go around that area wherever I add that white. And I'm just going in a circular motion like that. Now you can keep adding all the colors you like on the background the best way to know if you want to add more or not I mean you know just step back a little bit maybe take a little break if you like and then um, see if you want to add more color here but that's all I'm gonna do on my painting here okay all right now I'm just gonna clean my brush again I'm also gonna clean my small brush all right make sure you clean and dry this big brush because we're gonna be using this one more time so it's nice and dry almost <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna go back and forth like that just very lightly brushing it on this bubbles or the dots whatever you want to call just very lightly brushing it left to right like barely I'm doing this way like this okay so all right that's all I'm gonna do now let's start adding our tree okay I'm gonna clean this brush first you don't need this brush anymore so you can just clean it and put it away and I'm gonna use my round brush this time and i'm gonna add a nice big branch here okay so for that i'm gonna use a let's see maybe i'm gonna use a black paint and a brown paint so first i'm gonna start with the brown now i like to use a little thinner paint whenever i'm drawing any branches or tree trunk so i'm gonna take a little water And obviously everybody's different, right? So if you feel like that's not the way you are comfortable doing that, you can obviously use any technique you like. But I like to do it this way here. It just makes it so much easy and very quick to do this part. Okay, so I just mix a little bit of water with a little bit of paint. And uh, let's say I want to add my cardinal maybe right here. Maybe, yep. 
Okay, so I want to add a branch going from here and going up this way. All right, so I'm going to start from bottom. Actually, I like, to, I like to start from the top. So let's see. Maybe it's going this way. Just using tip. And now you don't need a perfect branch here. Remember, there is no, nothing perfect in nature, right? So there is no need to create any perfect branch i'm just gonna start from here making a little curve down this way i'm just gonna go back on the bottom area here one more time to make that nice and thick I'm just going to make the tip of this branch kind of a little pointy, if possible. Alright, everything else, uh, I mean, more branches I'm going to add later, but now I'm going to work on the cardinal. So let me clean my brush. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to use a red color. And obviously, I'm going to make that little thin too because this is really thick for me. So I'm going to just use a little bit of water. Okay. And now I'm going to add my cardinal maybe right here okay so now first i'm gonna add a shape of a kind of a egg you can say for the body okay so let's say i'm gonna leave a little space from here because this is where it's uh, sitting on so let's say maybe i'm gonna add a little egg shape right here okay now this is too light because i use a little bit of water just for the shape okay now i'm just gonna add a little head maybe right here just a little circle now do you know where this area is meeting the circle and this uh, oval shape i'm just gonna make a little curl on this area like that okay something like this all right now you know how the cardinal have that little feather or maybe more hair or whatever it's called on the head area here so i'm just gonna add that so i'm just gonna start adding a lot lines like this okay and then uh, i'm just gonna add a little more tummy area here all right and then i'm also gonna add a tail that's going this way Bring it down like that. Okay, and then you know how the wings, like I'm just adding more hair right here. So basically it's going to start, let me use this darker brown color. You guys can see that. So I'm just going to add a shape. Let me just use a black. Okay. Okay, so basically a wing shape from here. And something like this. Okay, so there you go. I'm just going to add more black. So there is my wing. 
Okay, I use a black, but you can uh, just keep using your white arm. I'm sorry, red if you like. All right, now I'm gonna add a beak here. And for the beak, I'm gonna use my, this small brush. And you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. I'm just not gonna use that. And to add a beak, I'm gonna use orange color here. Now, to make an orange, you can just mix the red and yellow together. Just a little, tiny little yellow more. I'm sorry, I'm saying that opposite. <laughs> tiny little red and more yellow here. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little beak here. Okay, so this is how I add my beak. Just going to add this type of little shape. Okay, and then I'm going to add another line on the bottom like that. Now I like to make the top area a little bit more longer, like this. Okay, and just a shorter line on the bottom, like this. Okay. All right, I hope that's easier for you. Um, now I'm just going to also add a little bit more yellow on the top here. And just a little yellow on the bottom. So it's just not, you know, one color here. You can also see the highlight of the beak. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use my same, that big brush. And I'm going to use some white, I'm sorry, black paint. Alright, now I'm just going to start adding a black paint like this from here. And I'm just going to start adding from the bottom like that. There is a little mustache you can see here. Okay. I'm just kind of dabbing on that area and I'm just going to bring it closer to where the eyes Okay, I'm just going to bring it, like, basically I'm adding this shape right here. You can also pause it if you like. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to add more black because I want to make it more darker. I'm going to work on that later. Okay, all right, I'm just going to clean my brush. All right, and I'm just going to use my same small brush here. Again, this is number zero size if you want to know that. It's hard, to, it's hard to see that, but it is number zero. All right, now I'm just going to take a little bit more black here and just kind of adding more black on the head here and also on the tummy area here for the shadows all right i'm gonna clean my brush actually you know i forgot to add a little feet so i'm just gonna take more black and add just a little, little fit here. Like that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to add like tiny little fit here. It's hard to see because, you know, again, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Because we're going to add a lot of snow on that area too. So, alright, now I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to start working on the branches here now okay for the branches i'm gonna use this brush this long bristled brush again if you don't have this you can also use your small brush and i'm just gonna use my brown paint here so basically i'm just gonna add more branch right here just gonna go a couple times do you know how 
do you see how smooth line you get uh, so that's why i started using this brush now and it's kind of a little cool so i'm gonna keep this nice and thick but i'm gonna make it a little bit more pointy Okay, I'm just gonna add a nice a thick line also. Alright, so now I'm just gonna add another branch maybe down here. Nice and thick one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make that pointy too a little bit. Alright, I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of other branches. Now it's always um, hard for me to stop whenever I'm adding branches like that. But whenever you feel like that's enough, you can uh, stop adding these branches. So I'm just going to keep adding more. Some of them are thick ones, small one, large one, whatever you want to call it. Now I made my branches so smooth, but you know, this there is, like I always mention, like I always like to say that there is nothing perfect in nature. You don't have to make it to make it so smooth. I also like to, you know, cross my branches. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm not really going to add a lot of um, branches here. But maybe I'm going to add another one. Maybe let's see. There. Okay. Alright, now I'm just going to work on my cardinal now. Okay, so for that I'm going to use my, this brush right here. It's a small round brush. Make sure you don't have any other color there because we're going to be using some white here. Alright, so now to make my this area pop out a little bit more, I'm going to use some white. Okay, I'm just going to take a little white and I'm going to cover all of this black I have here. I should have used just white before because, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add white here now don't worry how it looks right now because we're gonna let this dry a little bit and add more more red here so that way your red is gonna pop up more so i'm gonna take more white and add right here some on the tail here Okay, you can let this dry if you like. I'm just going to work on the eyes now. And for the eyes, I'm just going to use a white paint. So I'm just going to take a little white, add a little circle, like tiny little circle. Maybe let's say right here. Now it's not a perfect circle, but this has to be. And then... Clean your brush if you feel like you have too much black there and take a little bit more white. Just add a little dot in the middle or wherever you feel like there. Alright, and I'm just going to add more white on the beak here. Just on the tip of the beak. And I'm also going to add a layer of white right here. Just on the bottom of that beak. Alright, now... here that did not work out for me 
so i'm gonna let this dry a little bit so obviously don't do everything i do here sometimes so um i always recommend to watch me first what i'm doing if that work out so i also make mistake right so what i like to do in this mistake uh, is to use a maybe a paper towel and i'm gonna wipe out some paint from here so let me go grab some okay so i'm just gonna wipe this paint out or the best way to do it is just let it dry if you can wait then uh, just go over with whatever paint you like on top but uh, since i don't have much time i'm just gonna wipe this thing okay that already looks good all right now i'm just gonna take my this brush and i'm just gonna take some white here first i'm i'm just gonna apply white okay and then i'm just gonna use some orange so i already run out of my yellow so i'm just gonna take the orange okay and i'm just gonna add some orange like that now again trust the process and if you also want to watch me what i'm doing because i really want this area to pop out a little bit more so that's why i'm using orange here now on the orange i'm gonna use some red so it's like this so it's not gonna be like too dark dark but it's you can see these two area it's not looks like it's separated and it's two different colors basically okay i'm just gonna use a little bit more red here maybe okay same thing on this tail here okay i'm just gonna clean my brush and i'm also gonna apply this orange on the beak here because i feel like i want to make that a little bit more orangey not too yellowish so i'm just gonna add just maybe a little touch of this orange okay that's cute all right now i'm gonna use my same same small brush and i'm also gonna add this orange on this area okay and then i'm gonna add more red so this way you will have more layers on this uh, cardinal and you can see these colors okay now one last time i'm gonna go over with some more white and more black so i'm gonna start with the black first so i don't wanna use a lot of black this time and basically i'm just gonna go ahead and do the outline you can say but not a sharp outline outline like that okay some lines on that area some black lines on the tail and also on this area okay i'm gonna add the white once this is dry and it will be so much easier to apply the apply the white so just adding a little bit more lines there all right so now i'm gonna use my this round brush to add some snow sitting on these branches okay and then basically you know how the snow sits on the area where uh, mostly on the top of the branches so i'm just gonna randomly add some snow like that not really adding a straight line remember that you can also dab dab 
some maybe on this area here. Okay, so something like this. I'm just going to go over like that on most of the, all the branches here. So again, wherever the snow sits is always, um, you know, like on top of the branches like that. I have more snow sitting on this area because of uh, a thick branch there. And some right here. Also, I'm going to cover a little bit of feet area here. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward with this part because this might take a little time. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna add some berries here. So for that, I'm gonna use that same brush actually. So let me clean it. And uh, I'm just gonna take my red paint. And I'm also gonna obviously make that a little bit thinner because it just makes it so much easier to apply. Okay, so I take a little bit of red and basically I'm gonna add a cluster of berries everywhere on the branches so let's say and i want to also add another branch maybe let's say right here okay i'm gonna add the snow later but let me go ahead and start adding some berries so basically i'm just gonna add some dots like that something like this just whole bunch of uh, dots around the branches like that just on the tip area maybe now it doesn't has to touch the branches you can just add more uh, try to keep it as round as possible okay so yep something like that I'm just gonna again very randomly pick a spot, pick a branch. You can add more or less, it's up to you. I'm not gonna do too many here. Okay, maybe some down here. it's hard to stop for stuff like this so uh, i'm just gonna keep adding more here but again you can uh, just sometimes more is better right so i'm gonna add more maybe okay okay i don't see a branch here but i'm still gonna add some berries there okay all right now i'm gonna that's all i'm gonna do i'm just gonna clean my brush now and add the snow on the area where I add, where I just add more branches. So I'm gonna take more white. I have more snow sitting on this area here. And also some on this area. All right, now this area looks kind of very dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more white there. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna use a small brush for this part because it will be easier. So I'm almost done. So I'm gonna take some white and add more white like that. Okay, 
same thing. For the tail and also on top of this area here. Okay. And also maybe a line right here on the tummy area. Okay, I feel like I wanna add more red for the tail right here because it's too white. So play around whatever color you like to apply maybe on this cardinal here you can do that. Okay. All right, now the fun part is I'm gonna add some snow here. And to add snow, I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna wet the bristles a little bit first. You can also use a clear water if you like. I'm not gonna get more clear water. It's not gonna make a huge difference anyway. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and take some paint and just get some dirty. Okay, I'm just gonna just add a snow like this. Try not to go over a lot on the cardinal here, but if you do, it's okay. I mean, you can also cover with more paint if you like, if you did that. Okay, I'm just gonna turn my canvas here. Okay. For me, it's hard to stop, but it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna take more paint and a little bit more water, maybe. Okay, come on. Okay, it's looking kind of pinkish, but it's okay. It's never enough. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna clean my area. Here is. I don't like this part because it makes a whole lot of mess so if you want to do this maybe somewhere where you don't really worry about as you can see I, I have a big chunk of paint here which is okay um, because I'm gonna add some more snow this time I'm gonna use a brush okay just maybe a little bit of paint not too much and I'm gonna use my this small actually big brush for the bigger paint okay now I'm gonna take this paint away because it's oh I don't like that okay <laughs> all right I'm just gonna take more paint and just add more paint on that area because I don't like that area a lot so I'm just gonna add more paint more snow and I'm just adding a whole bunch of dots like that so I'm just two more two more steps left and then I'm almost done I'm just gonna randomly add this white so I like to add more like cluster of the dots every time I do something like that okay Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use my small brush and I'm going to go over with some uh, more red on this cardinal because I don't want to, I don't want too many of these dots on it. Okay. Now obviously I'm not going to cover the whole um, cardinal and I'm gonna, not going to cover the whole, all the daughter, <laughs> dots. Okay, and okay, that's good. All right, now one last thing is I'm gonna add a little touch of white on all of the berries I have. So basically, I'm just gonna add a little dot line on the top of the ber berry just to make it look kind of little real. Obviously, it's not gonna be like real, real, but just to make it better okay now it's okay if you miss some berry it's okay okay same thing now I like to to 
turn my canvas because it's just easier now make sure to do it only on the top of the berry area so there you go now I'm almost done um, now I hope you like this painting and you find this easier to paint okay so yeah I'm almost done with this painting and uh, this is the last step don't forget to sign your painting and uh, if you have any question uh, please let me know and uh, as you can see I also make a mistake right so I'll show you like how to fix that if you are using uh, acrylic painting I'll also remember to show you if you wanna also know how to do that with the watercolor but uh, yeah again thank you so much for painting with me and uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy watching this and uh, also if you have any question uh, please let me know again but yeah that's all i'm gonna do with this painting and here i'm all done um so yeah thank you so much for painting and i will see you next time whenever i paint again together i mean whenever we paint again together <laughs> so i don't know what i'm saying the whole day today i don't know so forget about that but thank you again for uh, painting with me and i'll see you next time for another painting take care bye don't forget to wash your brushes with some dish soap water so that you can use that process again all right take care bye